and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Man. My new electric force shield works perfectly. It should really be a help in protecting Tila's guards. Speaking of Tila, aren't you and she supposed to pay a visit to the lowland villages this afternoon? That's right. I'd better become Prince Adam again. I was talking with your mother today and about that planet she came from, Earth. Mm -hmm. You know, the Queen really is a remarkable woman. Did you know that she was one of the first Earth women ever to fly to outer space? Of course. But did you know that for a long time before that, only Earth men were allowed to be astronauts? Yeah, yeah it's hard to believe that at one time they thought men were better than women. I call it illogical. It is obvious that men and women are equals. Machines, on the other hand, are quite superior. Why attack track? <laughs> That's mutiny! Forgive my joke, Tila. After all, where would we machines be without humans? And where would men and women be without each other? Adam? Adam? <laughs> Adam? Men better than women. Ha! Now that's a joke. Track, what's happening? Something is blocking our path. be some kind of invisible force barrier. Out here in the middle of nowhere? I wonder how long it goes on. Only one way to find out. You go this way, and I'll go that. Halt! Who, me? I don't see anyone else here. Why are you snooping around our city's fortifications? Uh, city? What city? Answer! Look, I mean no harm. I'm Prince Adam of Eternia, and I was just... Enough! Men! Catching them is so easy! It's hardly even a spot! Who goes there? Who are you? I am Tila, Captain of the Guard of Eternia. And I say you are a spy! I'm no spy! I'll be the judge of that! What? There! This is hardly a way to treat an unarmed stranger. Well, haven't you anything to say for yourselves? I've... I've never seen such skill. I invite you to return with us to Arcadia to meet our queen. Now, that's more like it. But tell me, why have...
have I never heard of your city? As you have seen, our force, Doom, is impossible to pass through. Patrol 8956 requesting admittance through the Force Dome. Clear for admittance. Opening Force Dome. We'll be able to see Arcadia soon. It's just over the next ridge. Why? I've never seen anything so beautiful. Wait until you meet our queen, Sumana. That should be very nice. And will I also meet your king? King? We have no king. Why should we? Why? <laughs> well, a queen should have, uh, someone. Uh, a man? Really, with Queen Samara? <laughs> a man? No man is worthy of such an honor. Men are, 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 oh, never mind. We're almost there. to Arcadia. I am grateful, Your Highness, but if only for a glimpse of your beautiful city. Tell me about yourself. My name is Tila, and uh, in my country, I am captain of the King's Guards. The King's Guards? Yes, and he's a very good king. Hmm. Let us discuss the matter while I escort you on a tour of our city. Your city's incredible, but the way you treat visitors leaves something to be desired. So, you like Arcadia, eh? Well, it's the last you'll ever see of it. Now get in there! Ah, <sighs> oh, you'd think they could afford an elevator. What shall we do with his sword? Take it to the Mistress of Arms! Perhaps she can melt it down and make something useful out of it. Get on your feet. Why, you're no Arcadian. Who are you? I'm Prince Adam of Eternia. A prince, eh? Well, you're a slave now, so you'd better get used to it. Prince or no prince? Come on. Behold, Arcadia. A place of perfect harmony. Perfect peace. It seems unbelievable. I mean, how do you do it? Our great force dome protects us against all intruders. But it must take an enormous amount of fuel to power a force field that big. Where do you get it? From a mineral called Arcolite. We have it in plentiful quantities. Must be hard work. Who does all the mining? Who? Why, men, of course. They're good for physical labor, but we women are far better suited to rule. Women are better than men. In this way, we avoid all conflict and strife in our city. A perfect utopia. No conflict, no problems, and no love either. Take it. What is it? It's a digger. Look, what's this all about? Who are you? My name is Ananda. I'm in charge down here. This is where we mine Arcolite, the mineral that fuels Arcadia's four stone. And we're behind schedule, so get to work. No man or woman should have to work as a slave. No woman does. These are the slave pits, and no man or prince will ever get out. Is that clear? So, no men are allowed in the city. It's just not right. As an outsider, this all may seem very strange, but you must understand. I understand that your isolation from the outside world has made you cold-blooded and inhumane. Your Majesty. Yes, Ananda, what is it? The men are complaining again, especially that new one who is called Adam. Adam? Where is he? With the others, as he should be. What is wrong? He says we're over-mining, that the tunnels are not safe. Really? 
And what does he know? He's probably just looking for an excuse to slack off. However, I leave it in your capable hands. I get the feeling some men are better off than others around here. I knew it. This place is falling apart. Nanda, I've got to speak to you. What is it now? These mines are worse than I thought. You haven't seen the half of it. Come with me. Those shoring girders could go any time. This place has been mined to death. What's above this mine? The whole city's up there. Well, then if that ceiling caves in, the city will be destroyed. I fear for the queen. I've tried to warn her dozens of times, but she won't listen to me. Even, even though. Even though what? Well, I think she likes me, but of course she'd never admit such a thing. But she might listen to you. Me? Why me? Well, if you really are a prince. Well, it's worth a try. Let's go. There's no telling when these mines might cave in. I only wish I had my sword. <laughs> Time to melt down some of this junk. No, Tila. Now that you know our secrets, I cannot allow you to take them to the outside world. Seize her. That opening leads to the ventilation shafts below the street. Ananda, do you have any idea where the women might have taken my sword? There's a metal shortage. They probably took it to the foundry to be melted down. Then there isn't a moment to lose. I wonder where they keep all the men hidden. So Mana said something about mining. No place to go but down. Hurry! She couldn't have gone far. give for a decent road map of this place. Tila! Adam! Oh, am I glad to see you! I'm worried! Holding these two could cause a war between our country and Eternia! And how could Eternia's armies wage war on us? They could never penetrate our Force Dome. You aren't going to have your Force Dome much longer, Samana. What are you doing here? No men are allowed! You've mined all the Archolites you can. The whole city's in danger of collapsing. Adam, run! No, haven't you heard me? Perhaps some of the mines are in need of repair, but... But you're a man. You don't know what you're talking about. Take him away. No! Let him go! Why don't you understand? You're all in great danger. You must stop the mining. But we can't. Without Archolite, we'd have no four stone. Our city would be defenseless. If you don't change your thinking about men, you may have no city. What was that? That's what Adam was telling you. But it... It can't be that bad. Open your eyes, Sumana. The men know what they're talking about. Arcadia is collapsing. But what can we do? Let me loose and we'll work something out. All of us, women and men. Hmm. Now 
my sword. Still, we need metal more than swords. The men and women of Arcadia must work together to strengthen the supports beneath the city. Impossible, Tila. The women won't stand for it. Sumana, what choice do they have? What choice do you have? I'll... I'll give the order. Ananda said they might take my sword to the foundry. I'll bet that's the foundry. You know something? I think I like working with men. What? Put what? that sword down! Man at Arms Force Shield is sure gonna come in handy now. By the power of Grayskull! Have a plan. I have a plan. He-Man! Clear everyone out of here. I think I can still save the city. Can he do it? Just one man? He's no ordinary man. Let's get the others out of here. If this shaft just leads down deep enough... An underground lava flow. should do it. That lava will soon fill these tunnels. Get out of here! It worked! When that crumbling rock hit the lava, it all turned into a solid mass to support the city. So, men of Arcadia, thanks to Tila and He-Man, I think all of our eyes were open today. Today, women and men work together to help save our city. With our supply of Arcolite cut off, our force dome can no longer protect us. We need each other more than ever. Henceforth, we will live together in harmony. Not as women and men, but as Arcadians. In keeping with this, I decree that Ananda the noblest and wisest of our men shall rule by my side as king. Will you, Ananda? Well, it's about time. Well, I think that's our cue to leave. Imagine those Arcadian men not being treated as equals. That is so dumb. Why does one group have to be better than another? Men and women are exactly the same. And machines are superior. You're just jealous, Track. Anyway, there is a little difference between men and women. Don't you think so, Adam? Well, by the little, yeah. So? So, hooray 
for that little bit of difference. Hey, you two, knock it off! <laughs> Orko, what are you doing here? Trying to sleep. Orko, you've been asleep in the back seat all this time? Yeah, I hope I didn't miss anything exciting. A very long time ago, a wonderful document came into being. It was called the Magna Carta. It was the first big step in recognizing that all people were created equal. But even though more laws have been passed to guarantee that, there are still those who try to keep others from being free. Fortunately, Queen Samana realized in time that only by working together could her city be saved. And that's the way it should be, together. Right? Right. <laughs>